we want to find the measure of the missing angles labeled y degrees and x degrees. To begin, we know that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. But notice how if we take a look at this smaller triangle here, we're missing two of the three interior angles, so we can't use this fact yet. There's a couple of ways to approach this. One way would be to first take a look at this smaller triangle here on the left, this triangle here, and focus on finding the measure of this interior angle here, which we can then use to find the measure of angle y, which we can then use to find the measure of angle x. So looking at this triangle here, we know the sum of the interior angles must measure 180 degrees. So if we call this m degrees, we can set up an equation and say that m plus 56 plus 50 must equal 180. So we have m plus, this would be 106 equals 180. Subtracting 106 on both sides gives us m equals 74, and therefore the measure of this interior angle of this orange triangle is 74 degrees. But notice how this angle forms a straight angle with angle y, and therefore these two angles are supplementary. So we can find the measure of angle y by taking 180 degrees and subtracting 74 degrees. 180 degrees minus 74 degrees equals 106 degrees. So y equals 106, or the measure of this angle is 106 degrees. Let's go ahead and write this over here. y degrees equals 106 degrees, so y equals 106. And now looking at the other triangle, or this triangle here, we now have enough information to find the measure of angle x. Again, the sum of the interior angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So we would have x plus 106 plus 32 equals 180. So we have x plus, this would be 138 equals 180. Subtract 138 on both sides. And we have x equals 42. So the measure of angle x is 42 degrees. So we can say x degrees equals 42 degrees, or x equals 42. This would be one way to approach finding the measure of the missing angles. But let's also talk about a second approach. This time let's focus on the larger triangle and this angle here. Notice the measure of this larger angle would be 50 degrees plus 32 degrees or 82 degrees. So again, focusing on this larger triangle, we know the sum of the interior angles must be 180 degrees. So using the large triangle, we can set up an equation and say x plus 82 plus 56 must equal 180. This would give us x plus 82 plus 56 equals 138. So subtracting 138 on both sides, we get x equals 42. So if x is 42, the measure of the missing angle is 42 degrees which again we found earlier, which we see here. And now to find the measure of angle y, we can now focus on this smaller triangle here. Setting up our equation, we'd have y plus 42 plus 32 equals 180, or y plus, this would be 74 equals 180. Subtract 74 on both sides and we get y equals 106, which again is what we found using our first method. y equals 106, therefore the measure of the missing angle is 106 degrees. 
I hope you found this helpful.